On this episode of Unseen Artifacts, we're going to give you the royal treatment. We're going to take a look at some movie props fit for Genovian royalty, and possibly take a peek into somebody's diary. Can you guess the film? I'm Rick Lorenz with the Walt Disney Archives, and here on Unseen Artifacts, we like to share with you objects from our collections that have not been in one of our many exhibits or publications. One of the ways we like to share these objects is through photos, and that's where Holly, our digital producer, is key. Thank you, Holly. I really didn't need that. Holly's taking a break right now, so while she's doing that, we're going to take a closer look at some of these props from Princess Diaries 1 and 2. Our first prop over here is actually the Royal Coronation Crown. You can see this in Princess Diaries 2 at the coronation when Dame Julie Andrews removes it from her head and places it on the head of Anne Hathaway. Two Oscar winners wore this crown. Maybe a third, no. The other crown we have in our collection is for Fat Louie. Fat Louie the cat has his own crown and case to keep it in and his own pillow to display it on. The cat's got nicer pillows than I do. You will also notice in the coronation scene, the golden orb. This Anne Hathaway holds in her right hand during the coronation. And last but not least, we have the most important thing is the Princess Diary. In a very official diplomatic pouch from Genova. The cool thing about the diary is, there we go, actually filled with many pages of diary entries. There are photographs, there are Genovian bills, stamps. But my favorite entry towards the rear, the very last entry, is Dear Diary, Big Day, Today I Got Engaged. Well, I have a couple more very special props to show you. But before that, let's hear from Holly, our digital producer. One of my favorite things about my job here in the archives is I get to photograph all of our assets. We use these photographs in condition reporting and documentation for our databases. We also use them in reproductions for products. We also use them in a lot of publications. We wish everyone could visit the archives, but our photographs are a way that we can bring the archives to you. Thanks, Holly. Well, these next props that I have to show you are very special. And unless you've watched the behind the scenes on Disney+, Plus, you haven't seen them either. These are marionettes of Anne Hathaway, Princess Mia, and the Queen, Dame Julie Andrews. They were made by designer Scott Land, who made them for the first film, but they weren't used. Director Gary Marshall decided he wanted to use them in the second film, filmed a scene using them, and then unfortunately the scene was cut. Now when they first came to us as part of our collection, we weren't sure we were going to keep them because we couldn't see them in the film. And if we hadn't watched the extra features on Disney+, Plus, we wouldn't have been aware of what the purpose was of the marionettes. So I'm glad we didn't get rid of them and we found a home in the archives collection. Thanks for watching. And as usual, if you'd like to see more of our amazing collection, check out our site at d23.com. Holly, I'm done. <laughs>